Okay, I decided to start a minute early because I'm impatient as hell. Eh. <laughs> Thought I'd start with just a quick overview and then I would start zooming in on various things as I walk closer to them. Just you want to swing in and not have to. A little dude. You can kind of see the fire. <laughs> the saddest jaunt ever. Pirates. Oh, God. I'd say easily 30 hours. More or less. <laughs> it's like an hour or two a day, every day in October. Okay. That was quick overview. So now I'll start giving you the behind the scenes tour. I'll start with all of my little skeletons. BG Mermaid is new this year and I love it. Oh god. I forgot to turn on my angler fish and stuff. Hold please. Can you tell that we had some problems before starting? happens every year. There's never enough batteries. Hey buddy, work with me. There we go. Okay. Because everybody's got to see these. I love my anglerfish. That is the coolest thing ever. And my octopus. And look, look at the little baby crocodile. Or alligator. Got a crab, seahorse, turtle. And my little monkey. And I have two froggies. Because I can't have enough frogs. <laughs> They're also skeletons. And here is the goldfish, which I had an idea to try and like encase it so it would be floating up, but that's just too much work. This is my pirate's treasure, which actually started out life as dragon's treasure for our old dragon cave. And then I did pirates. And there's people that are stopping to watch, so that's fun. <laughs> oh. And then I broke a light. That's on me. This is the first mermaid I made. I actually got the skeleton and then corpsed her myself. And here is my pirate lady. Yeah, fog's gonna go off for a while. She is probably the first skeleton we ever got. Usually she's my fortune teller, but since this year's kind of changing everything up, she gets to be a pirate and try and get her beer from the crocodile. And this is my monkey. And some years he sits on top of the gold, but he doesn't like to sit very well, so he's had to have his limbs re-glued a lot. His treasure map is actually something I made out of birch bark I found. <laughs> I just drew all over it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can walk over everything without breaking it. Okay. This guy we got this year and I love it because it's got lots of tentacles and it looks cool and it doesn't talk. It's an old one I painted. I don't remember when. Uh. <sighs> Here's my pirate ship. 
which I made out of panels last year. It did not go well. <laughs> Against Nebraska wind, it kept taking flight. So I had to come up with a lot of different ways to get it to finally stay grounded, which works. My tentacles are made out of pool noodles, duct tape, and some PVC pipe wrapping. That's what the suckers are. And you can kind of see that they need some more spot repair. <laughs> Happens every year. My pirate dude is just adorable. Oh, I forgot his sword. He usually has a sword. I was thinking about giving it to the lady pirate this year, but... I'm also worried people might take it, so I keep things hidden. <laughs> Up here is our little hollow illusion projection. It doesn't work so well because they put in this like really awesomely strong spotlight. So we're kind of stuck. And there's some fire. Dur, dur, dur. I have no idea if anyone can hear me. I'll just keep talking. <laughs> Maybe. This is my little trick or treater who looks like a linebacker because, you know, things happen. <laughs> this is. Whoa, that's fun. This is my little wreath guy. I made this here to look haunted because it's cute. It's absolutely nobody cares, but that's fine. I actually won those candles, so they're like super fancy, but I just put them outside because I'm an evil person. There's my birdie. And my very old sign that is fading like crazy. You can see some of my pumpkins. They're all funkins, so I've had them for years and years and they're not doing so great. One of my cobras. Oh, I only have eight cobra. Okay, this is one of my little elf guys. Sorry about the flash. Hope it's not too strong. I was not supposed to be there, but another one broke, so I'm working with what I got. This is my poor headless lady. She is also a very, very old skeleton, probably first year. And one time when I was putting her up, her head just popped off. So rather than put it on, it's just stayed off forever. Giving it him to go. <laughs> Hit a tree. That was fun. That is my husband's demon. He made it a very long time ago. And there's another frog, because I have a lot of frogs. <laughs> there's my fire. And my werewolf! Luckily no one is messed with. I'm kind of honestly shocked. Okay. This is my scarecrow. Oh, my love. This is. Man, I have this really cool jack-o'-lantern, but I don't have him set up well, and I haven't figured out how to fix that yet. It's supposed to be sensor!
Okay, now we're gonna break in. <laughs> now I'm gonna try to not step on anything. This is my little sister who, oh my god, looks even creepier on film. <laughs> there we go. And my zero. The little sister I made because I had to go to an antique store and I found this doll that could stand with its hair already chopped off and that was all I could think to do with it. <laughs> Okay, if you don't want to go, that's cool. Alright, let's see Santa! He's Santa Vampire! Oh, those teeth are not doing so hot. <laughs> Man, I should have put lights in a sack. I just thought of that now. There's my skeleton. And this Christmas tree I actually got from Spirit. It was one of their design setups. They always sell them after the year. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. I can use that. I think it was like 20 bucks. This is my spider gift present mess that took way too long to make. And I glued all the bugs to it. And I have no idea if I'll ever use it again. Because I don't know if I'll do creepy Christmas again. That's just how crazy I am. Okay, now let's... Ooh. There's my witch lady. I just like her. <laughs> you might notice the fogger keeps going off. Okay. She brings sneak past you. It gets a little cramped over time. Shock of shocks. Santa's trying to grab at me. There's my spideys. Whom I also need to fix because the light does not work. Okay, I want to show off this guy. He's my adorable buried farmer, which a little girl called him and then she patted his head and it was really cute <laughs> here's my mummy because I just wanted to have a mummy dang it and like a lot of props we actually got it like the day of Halloween because it was super discounted and so it was just like yep I, I can I can put a $30 mummy in my haunt somewhere this is what I call my uh, Christmas Carol section because we've got kind of like, I guess, undead Scrooge. And then this is Angela. Because she's my angel of death. And <laughs> she's like seven feet tall, which means she barely fits inside the garage. She is made out of monster mud, which is a combination of paint and like a spackling. I can't remember now. But it's a pain in the ass, and there's a lot of chicken wire, and anyone who works with chicken wire knows chicken wire frickin' sucks. Let's see, this is my little guy. He actually hasn't been out in quite a few years, but he fits so perfectly here. I'm like, I'm so glad I decided to grab him. Proof I'm a dork. Oh yeah, all of the... These all I made myself from foam and paint and boring stuff. This guy we actually got from a haunt. Like, there's a, a local haunt, and we kind of knew, and they were doing a garage sale sort of thing, so we got him for, like, super cheap. Ten bucks, maybe. Those eyeballs don't work, but, you know. And that's Edgar Allan Poe. Another one I made. And this is just my Weeping Willow. Assuming it even shows up. Okay. And there's my uh, fogger going off. I'll probably put the 
thing I have for it to make it work a little better tomorrow. Not sure. See how it goes. The last thing I wanted to show you, assuming you'll even show up, is my little lights in the trees. Although they're a lot stronger when I have all these lights out. Here's the back view of <laughs> Santa and the tree. <laughs> Santa covered in the same lights that are streaking all over me. And my little trick-or-treater is actually going to get put out front to help guide the kids. So our plan is to like run stockings clear across the garage and then put treats in that. We'll see how well it goes since we have to set it up tomorrow on the night of. One last pass. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that guy. <sighs> Those things really like tension. I like just put these bones out, so I'm showing it off. <laughs> My husband, like, it was his whole idea, and then I guess he got it in his head to put like names of various monsters and stuff on each stocking. So that's what he's been doing. <laughs> and there's our pirate. And that's pretty much it. And I'm pretty sure I kicked that dang light again. Just one stupid little light drives me nuts. Although, and there's the fire. Like, I try my hardest to get the Hallelujah in the haunt. Like, last year, if you saw, there was supposed to be a projected undead skeleton helmsman behind my pirate. But, unfortunately, this cursed street light casts too much light, so it doesn't really ever work. And since this year's kind of a mess, we decided to just put it in the window. <laughs> we might find the old one and then do it again. That's pretty much it. So unless there's any more questions, sign off and turn a lot of flashing lights off for tomorrow. Okay, bye.